Good day, viewers. I am among the Nigerians that are not surprised by the anarchy and chaotic address that Tinumbu addressed to court. This is because we know the history of Bondame Tinumbu. And in case you forget about what happened before the election, when he gathered people in a meeting and he was telling them to grab it, snatch it, and run away with it. Imagine somebody who wants to be a president of a country telling his supporters that if there is anything that could make you not to win, snatch it, grab it, and run away with it. In case you missed the video, that is this. Fight for it, grab it, snatch it, and run with it. Yes, And what really happened after this meeting on the day of Rande when Pitobi came to Lagos? This thing happened. You can see that Bona Metinumbu called for anarchy before the election, and after the election, he is still calling the anarchy. He threatened the electorate before the election by telling his supporters that if there is anything that is threatening our victory, make sure you snatch it, you grab it, you run away with it. And I guess he was referring to the bundle bus. And you could see that a lot of bundle buses were, were destroyed during the election, even though it is something that has become normal in Nigerian politics. But the time to, you know, to practically exhibit all this nonsense and score free is over. Now, let us come back to the threat he issued to the judiciary. So many people are surprised, but I myself, I am not surprised because it is not a new thing. It is not a new thing. Tinumbu has been doing this right from time. Just, you watch this video when he was threatening the electorate. So, when you see what happened again during um, Pitobis Rande in Lagos, as you can see in this video, you could see that a lot of people were attacked, people were brutalized, they vandalized cars, they destroyed people's vehicles. This is somebody that wants to ruin the country and change the country. You can't give what you don't have. So Tinubu cannot give us peace. Tinubu cannot give us prosperity. Somebody who comes to power through snatching, grabbing, and running away with bundle boss is not somebody who will be able to change anything about Nigeria. Let's be honest. We are not trying to be biased or trying to play partisan um, journalism. No. But let the truth be told. We're at Freedom. We try. We're marching down to Jack on Day. Trying to mobilize our supporters from Jack on the down to TBS for the rally of a Labour Party a presidential rally. And uh, before we knew it, some talks believed to be uh, loyal to APC uh, came from uh, various uh, 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 directions with core classics and a uh, gun. They started shooting, and uh, many people escaped for their safety. And before I knew it, I also ran because I was not really ready. I was not expecting that, so I ran for cover. So I, I, where I was standing, I saw them destroying the cars we were parked. We parked, destroyed everything, both the whistling, the front, the, with the, the door, as you can see, destroyed everything, used matchhead on uh, Labour Party uh, supporters. Uh, some of them have, have gone to hospital. And uh, so we are taking down to TBS uh, to receive first aid treatment before they can go to uh, uh, they can go to hospital for proper treatment. That is how we see it here in Lagos. You've heard what he said. So are you now surprised that Tinumbu is threatening the judiciary with anarchy and chaos that will happen if the judiciary interpret the law as it is that Abuja 25% vote is mandatory? For me. I don't see any reason why anybody should be surprised. But I am marvel that such a person who has exhibited such character before the election still have some votes, even though so many people did not vote for him, as he himself said, that he knows that a lot of people did not vote for him. So I am marveled about what is going on. Listen to this man's testimony. Uh, at about uh, 8.30 this morning, we got reports of um, we, well, we had made arrangements along with uh, provisions for people to be transported to TBS, buses, float, music equipment, DJ, in a peaceful manner, not even up to traffic, have traffic management, 
part of our plans only for the uh, contingent coming from the island Jack on the axis to get attacked. I uh, got the first distress call about 9.25 that um, buses are being damaged and um, we are trying to assess the situation. So we moved with a security outfit only to encounter the group at about 9.55 a.m. at Freedom Way, uh, just along the Lekki Expressway, where one of our coordinators was being attacked. The uh, float had been uh, basically uh, encroached upon, speakers, DJ equipment damage, and supreme violence. I mean, you know, Lagos is supposed to be a model city in Nigeria, but what I saw this morning was a slum. Lagos feels like it's a bastion of thuggery. And you know, you can only say that it's state sponsored, state promoted, because there's no way in broad daylight at 9.55 a.m. you have that kind of organized thuggery having a few day on, you know, perhaps even motorists, a, a number of cars that were not even part of the rally were even attacked. And it's shameful. We have a vehicle here that's damaged. Um, the young man, Ben, who was attacked, Machet cuts to the head, machet cuts to the leg. Very gory sight. I mean, thankfully we got their security uh, um, personnel were able to disperse them. Some of them had arms, small arms, had a pistol. In Lagos, Nigeria, where arms are illegal. So again, I'm asking the police force, I'm asking the state government, what are you doing? We're making sure Lagos has a peaceful environment for even opposition parties. From what I even understand, APC had been in opposition in this country. And here they are today, not even promoting an era or an atmosphere of peace. So again, I hope we have a successful rally. I'm calling on the IG of police, the State Commissioner of Police, Ben Hundain, uh, again, a great guy who would love to see that there's law and order. Deploy enough armed personnel. We're making sure we have a peaceful rally. No one here is up for violence. We're just here to exercise our rights, have a, have a rally, and go home peacefully. Showcase the best of Nigerian politics is all we're asking for. Look at this vehicle. This was attacked. This is live evidence. The back was broken. What more do we want? We want good governance. And obedience cannot be stopped. We have now been, you know, charged for that to come out. And then if for the undecided voters, this is their time. Make a choice. You need a Nigeria that works, a Lagos that works. Yes, and the choice was made. And the choice was P2B for so many parts of the Nigeria, including the Lagos state. P2B won it. So, that is the issue on ground that even the anarchy he invented before the election and during the election could not save him totally now before the court he is now condemned for anarchy again this is the nigeria we have found ourselves but it is laughable you know why we are not going to allow things to continue like this so even though we did not talk at the end we are still going to die as humans it is natural so if we talk at the end we're still going to die so let us talk and face anything that is going to come out of it. Everybody. For VTC now, our convoy that scapper is with as the scapper of who people where they are. What is what? I don't know.